So today, we're playing the Pyromancer, and we're trying the Pyromancer's new bag once again, the Offering Bowl. And we may have offered up the present for an insane build just like this. Even better here. This Soul Hunger Blade is doing a lot of work here. we got those big crits. But hey, check this run out, and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go and jump to some ranked games with the Pyromancer and see just what I can do today. Okay, for sure, I'm going to be offering up a crazy amount of items in our offering bowl here. That is for sure. I'm also going to be offering up this too. And honestly, I'm going to be offering up this whetstone. So that's a lot of DPS first right now. I'm going to be taking this flame. I'm going to roll. And we could take this whetstone for right now. Or this wooden sword. And yeah, I'm going to roll on. And we could also take this second dagger and offer up the wooden sword and try to get a hammer here and go for a hammer dagger build. But I do kind of want to keep our wooden sword for right now. And we turbo leader punter, which is kind of absurd. Speaking of hammer, probably should have kept it here. Okay, box witch's spear is honestly pretty good here. We can craft up a shell totem. We can craft up more spear. We can take this little bit of extra storage. We can also take another shiny shell. We can also generate up a lot of gemstones here. Health pot's also pretty good. Or do we offer up our health pot here? I'm thinking we're going to offer up our help off for right now. I'm also going to be taking this piggy bank for right now. Slot that in here. Now, it's not the most ideal setup because we do want our shiny shoulders inside each other. But I do want to be super greedy and get that extra gold per round. Now, we could take the hammer, smash open some piggy banks, and offer them up to our offering ball here. But spear into shell totems is going to be a pretty good setup here. For sure. It's going to be a lot of damage. It's going to be a lot of healing. But unfortunately... Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks, now let's get back to the video. Our opponent just outpaced us here because they had a ton of Shroy built here. Okay, we got a piggy bank from our offering ball, which is absurd here. Speaking of absurd, we're going to be taking a second box riches here. I'm going to roll. Chili could be pretty good too, we do need heat generation, that is for sure. We're going to be offering up our gemstones for right now. Do you also want to keep this to remove our opponent's buffs? I do also really want to take this chili pepper. I'm going to reserve it. I'm going to roll looking for a little bit of extra torture. Because I'm going to be keeping our piggy banks. Then we could also do something like this. Which might be better for us. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. And yeah, we're going to be taking our chili pepper next round. We're going to be offering up our little gemstones that we do not want here. So it shouldn't be too bad. Might have actually wanted to offer up our chipped amethyst here. But I much prefer trying to remove our opponent's buffs. Especially going to begin so much shell totem mills to be getting rid of damn power. It's going to be a massive counter to our opponents. As we stack up our own power. I can get that little bit of lifesteal. Lifesteal would help us stack up our own power. But removing our opponent's buffs. Would be pretty good. However, our opponent is going to be out pissing us here. Unfortunately. It is what it is. We've got two flames, which is not too bad whatsoever. We do have 11 gold here. We do want to take chili pepper because we do need to stack up a lot of heat. Her bone spear. We also got ourselves blueberries. Dragonic Orb is pretty much a must item we do exactly need here. We're we'll taking this gemstone. We do also want this pair of gloves. Also another Blood Amethyst. We could reduce our opponent's healing here. I'm going to sell this in order to take this for right now. So we can increase the speed of here. I'm going to add in one more flames. With that, I'm going to be offering up these items here. Now we could offer up one piggy bank here, but I do kind of want to keep our setup right now. So I'm going to put it in and keep it in for right now. We're going to be offering up these items here. We've got to sell one flame. Actually, I'm going to sell this and this. So that gives us a 30% chance to remove our opponent's buffs. Which is super awesome. We could also offer this up. It is on self five. Yeah, we definitely, definitely need to offer that up. To try to get a crazy, crazy item. But for right now, we are going to be rolling on like this. But so far, we should be able to stack up a bunch of heat for our spear, So we should be able to deal that damage. We should also be able to get that in power. We should be able to remove our opponent's buffs. So, so far, looking pretty decent here, for sure. We got ourselves a stone and a flame here. And we're going to take Manekineku. We could be crafting up Box of Prosperity, but I'm going to be getting rid of it here instantly. With that, I'm going to sell our piggy bank to take this, and I'm going to roll. Okay, smashing it. We're going to be taking both these here. Eye Lamp is crazy, crazy good too. Let's roll once more. We definitely need this ladder bag. Let's go and offer up this stone. And another... Emerald here. So unfortunately, we kind of have to roll on like this. Now, it's not great to have all these items in our inventory. 
but it is what it is. We're going to be offering up a lot of gold worth of items here into our offering ball to potentially get a pretty good item here. But we just have to see. Is it going to be good or is it going to be trash? Can we beat down this ranger? Just barely. Holy moly, that was close. So what did we get? Got ourselves good old Guberts and a Weston, which is honestly not the items I was looking for here. So for this round, I do want to take a letter bag. I do also want to take a Royal Lamp here. I also do want to take Draconic Carp here. However, we do kind of want to offer up more items here. But again, I'm going to be selling good old Guberts. I'm going to be getting rid of a bunch of our gemstones and I'm going to reserve this and roll once. And we could also go for a Hunger Blade, which I am genuinely thinking about taking here. Which should be pretty good. And at this point, I actually am going to take it. So with that, we're going to be rolling on. We're probably going to make the pivot from Mountain Spear to Hunger Blade to try and go for a Blood Tarsier. here. But so far, not looking too bad. We should have scaling damage with our Eye Lamp on our Mountain Spear. So it should be doing turbo damage. We should be getting some Empower as well. As well as some healing from our Shelter. So, so far, actually, I was going to say looking awesome. But we actually managed to lose here, which is super, super unfortunate. But with that, we didn't get a great item here. Which we're going to be offering up. We're going to be taking this and we might actually offer up our Molten Spear instead of our Shell Totems. And we're going to be selling our Shell Totem and our Shiny Shell in favor of actually taking that here. And with that, we did want to take another Chili Pepper. At this point, we're going to be selling our Pinky Bank and one Box of Riches here. We cannot afford to keep this going here. We're also going to be able to take our Dragonic Garb, but wouldn't it be crazy to offer up a Jin's Lamp as well? Wouldn't that just be absurd? So we are definitely going to do that here. We're also going to be removing some of our flames in favor of adding in Chili Pepper. We're also going to have her set up like this. So our eye lamp should be going turbo nuts. And yeah, we're going to be offering up these items here. Eye lamp is going to be kind of good for right now. Or Jin's lamp, I mean. Her rogue potion could potentially proc as well. With her setup right now, especially for increasing the speed of our items here. With that heat. And so far, smashing here. And we are going to get a crazy, crazy item here. Potentially, what's it going to be? Okay, we got ourselves Glowing Crown, which we could go for King's Crown, which is not too bad here. Now, we do really, really want to go for Burning Banner since we have Hunger Blade, especially with King's Crown as well. We also got our Flute, Calpur Stamina. So let's go ahead and take Burning Banner for right now. Also, Prismatic Orb is kind of absurd. Okay, so I definitely want to go for King's Crown. That is going to be pretty good for us. I do want to offer up these boots too, and it is Flutes for right now. We do want to go for Prismatic Orb, but we cannot really afford to take it as of right now. Are we going to be able to stack up enough heat to get this Draconic Orb going? I will be taking it. I also do want this Pineapple too. And with that, I'm going to roll on as right now. Now, we do want this extra box of riches. Since we're going to be crafting up King's Crown, that is for sure. We also want to add in all these frames that we potentially can add in. We do want to also be crafting up these red gemstones here. We've got to make sure we're crafting up King's Crown. Not so long, but we can craft so as right now. See, so yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to continue on like this now. It should be pretty good here. We should be able to stack up a bunch of heat here. We should be able to get our Dragon Garb here, potentially. However, it is actually going to be extremely slow because Chili Pepper is triggering every 5 seconds. But it is 2 every 5 seconds. It's still going to be a long time before we get that 15 heat. We're just about to get it. Then we're going to do a massive, massive damage here. And we do want to go Blood Turn though. We do want to get more Dragon Garbs. But with that, we've got our King's Crown, which is going to be amazing for us. It's going to amplify healing by quite a bit. We're going to be crafting it up. We do want a second. We did want that second box riches, but we didn't actually reserve it here. Which is definitely my fault. Now, the bird here could be honestly quite good because it will increase the speed of our weapons here. When we actually want it in this position, that is going to be super, super ideal. Now, with that, I do want Prismatic Orb here. Because that will give us mana for our Glowing Crown. It's also going to increase our healing efficiency. And it's also going to give us Fan Prism from the very beginning. Now we may actually want to flip this around here. And have this situated in here. And have our situation more like this. Now we do have one more gold. I do kind of want to take another red ruby here. So I'm going to sell this in favor of taking it. I'm going to sell one flame to roll here. And that's all we can really afford to do as of right now. So with this, this should be a lot better. Prismatic Orb is going to generate up quite a bit of buffs first. Our opponent is going to be dealing massive, massive damage here. And yeah, unfortunately, they just burst this down with that Hero Longsword and two dragons here. 
is unfortunate. We're going to be reducing our potent healing here. That's pretty good for us. We're going to take our pineapple. I'm going to roll here. Okay, this is crazy, crazy insane. Not to take, so we're going to be crabbing that up into vampire gloves. Once this crabs up the vampire gloves, that is going to give us more vampirism. I'm going to sell one more flame here because I do want to get that little bit of extra storage. And there's that box of riches if you do want to. However, at this point, we do need to craft up the blood turn here. So unfortunately, we're going to have to roll on. Now, we did not put in our pineapple, but that should be okay. We should also have our burning banner, actually, targeting some holy items here. Because we could be inflicting some blind as well. It just adds to a shroy build here, but quite a bit. But so far, we did get that vulnerability heal to full and smash near. Looking pretty good here. Okay, present is kind of insane here. He's on sale as well. However, we could take it and offer it up into our offering ball here. It's also a second bird, which is kind of insane too. So with that, we're going to be offering up our present and our bird here, because there's another bird I'm going to be taking as well. I'm going to roll here. Continue to roll here. We definitely need this stamina sack. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sell some items here. Sell this. We can add this in too. I'm going to have to sell two flames, which is super, super unfortunate, but we do really, really need this here. So we could move our burning banner into this position. Just be a little bit better here. We can also increase the speed of our pineapple. It doesn't really do too much except for a little bit of healing and some spike stacking. But it shouldn't be too bad here. With the setup, we do want to add in our flame. And yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy. We're going to be getting our bird back, but we're going to be offering it up with the present here. So we should be able to get a turbo crazy item here. Hoping for another prismatic orb here. That would genuinely be insane. Because it will help us stack up a lot of buffs. We are scaling our vampirism like crazy here. We did get invulnerability and we are healing back to full. Even though we didn't take too much damage here. And actually... Holy moly, that's insane. We got two lots of items from this. That was crazy insane here. For sure. We also do want this to craft up into another vampire gloves. That will literally be awesome for us. So right now, we are going to be offering up our fanfare. We're also going to be offering up this flute. We also got another pair of gloves, which is pretty darn good for us. And we do want to switch this down here so we can actually increase the speed of our burning banner and our pineapple, which will be pretty good. And right now, I'm going to increase the speed of our king's crown. We can put this down here and increase the speed of this chili too. And we can craft up a burning coal. We can add in another flame and we can sell this and call it a day. Get a bird next round and our blue diablo. All this without a blood turn. If we got a blood turn here, we would be outputting massive, massive damage here. We will be turbo stacking spikes too. Along with a vampirism. But still, the DPS here on our hunger blade is going turbo nuts. Massive damage with those big crits. Insanely good. So what are we going to get? Got ourselves a ripsaw blade, which we are probably going to have to sell instantly. Which is super unfortunate, but we did get ourselves a king's crown, which is going to be crazy insane. I did want to get the bird too. We're going to slot the bird in here. We're also going to have to take this and we're going to swap our gloves around, which is going to be a little bit worse for this round. But it should be a lot better later on. I'm going to sell one flame through all here. And unfortunately, we're going to continue on as right now. Now, it's going to be a long time <laughs> looking for Blood Turn. Honestly, this singular Hunger Blade is definitely, definitely carrying us. We do get two invulnerabilities. We have more Vampirism than Bloody Harvester. Which is kind of absurd here. That's good old Phoenix, which we could offer up into our offering bolt here. I'm going to take it since it's on sale. I'm going to roll here. Keep it going. Mana Orb, also another Bloody Amla. I do actually kind of want to take. I'm going to keep it as of right now. Or crit chance, definitely worth taking. And honestly, I'm going to reserve another bird. I'm going to let this bird go too. However, we're also going to be letting go of this Phoenix. I'm also going to move this down here so we can add this in. But right now, we're also going to add this in too. Yeah, two more flames or two more golds. I'm going to leave it at that. That's all we can really do. We're going to continue on as of right now. But yeah, Blood Tarn would be going Turbo Nuts here. We do get that invulnerability from the very beginning. And then we should be able to get our invulnerability again. And yeah, it's looking pretty darn strong here. And we did survive two lives left here. But we're going to continue on. We probably should leave since we do not have blood turn. But we are going to get another Glone Crown. Which is extremely awesome here, for sure. 
We're going to slot in here for right now. That's going to be pretty darn good for us. We do want more bloody amulets. We're going to slot this in here too. And we also want our bird back in this position. And we do not want to offer this up. We also want to add in our chili pepper and add in more flames. We do want to sell this. I do want this draconic orb, but we can't afford to take it. I'm going to roll once. And we're going to take potion bolt. Now our setup right now is going to be tons of healing. Blind is not going to matter on us because we should be able to cleanse it with the whole setup. We should be able to protect your buffs with good old King's Crown. We should be able to turbo stack our vampirism compared to our opponent, get big massive massive crits. And yeah, this is just straight up crazy here. We offered up one flame for a flame back. We're going to be taking this potion bolts. We're going to be taking Draconic Arb. I'm actually going to be taking this Lumbacult because it will be two more heats here. Now we could take Hunger Blade. We're also taking a hard container to be getting even more regen here. We're also going to... Okay, we're definitely going to take this too. Let's add in more flames as well. And yeah, we're going to be moving on like this. Now this has been a crazy, crazy run here. However, one build that could counter us here is Frostbite. We do have a lot of invulnerability. But yeah, look at the damage output from this build. This build is absurdly strong. It's kind of crazy how strong that build is. But it is what it is. We're going to be taking our bloody armor. I'm going to slot this in here. We could craft up another set of vampire gloves. But I'm not going to take it. We could also take our hat container here. So I'm going to sell two flames in order to take it. And I might actually remove this setup for right now. I'm going to sell one more flame to roll here. Prismatic Orb is crazy insane. We are definitely going to be taking that here. And yeah, we're going to be rolling on. Now, our build is going to be insanely strong. However, one blood torn here and our build would have been even better here. This Soul Hunger Blade is doing a lot of work here. We've got those big crits. Massive damage incoming from Hunger Blade. And we just have invulnerability until our opponent is no more. Okay, so it is the final round. We cannot get blood torn anymore, that is for sure. So we are going to be taking another Prismatic Orb here. I'm also going to be taking this so we can actually slot this in here. And we're going to have to take this Bloody Amulet, which means I'm going to sell this Gloves. I'm going to sell this too. Because that is a crazy amount of Vampirism set up right now. As you can see, our Prismatic Orbs are literally the key to our build here. And it's targeting every single item of ours. I'm going to roll once. And that is going to be our whole setup. We could sell a Stamina Sack. But honestly, we kind of need our stamina sack here. This is going to be our final setup. Now, it has been insanely awesome. To be quite honest. Especially with all the glowing crowns, King's Crown. And this Hunger Blade is doing the work of seven <laughs> blood turns here. Also, the bird being kind of nice to add into because it does increase the speed of our all items. That triggered too. So with that, let's go ahead and see. Is this going to be good enough here? Are we going to be able to beat this last opponent? They are running a bunch of dragons, so they are going to be doing a lot of burst damage here. We do get that invulnerability from the very beginning. And we should be able to turbo scale our mana to get that invulnerability. Turbo Look how much vampirism we actually have here. Absurd amounts. Skyrocketing. Holy moly, that's insane. DPS on the Hunger Blade, 65 with a cooldown of 0 0.6. Our build towards the end, in 12 seconds, we managed to heal for over 1000 HP. We managed to deal just about 500. Our opponent managed to heal for about 300, so we definitely, definitely out heal him here. But yeah, an absurd setup here. But anyways, we did survive with two lives left here. Let's go ahead and see just how much rank points we got here. Plus 18, our rank is up quite a bit here. But anyways, go leave it for now. Just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. And I hope you keep a look out for the next one. See you next time.